Olivia, welcome. Where do you see the biggest opportunities for climate investing? Absolutely. So areas in which we see big opportunities today are twofold. One, from an asset class perspective, we see a lot of opportunities around both private equity um, as well as infrastructure and private credit. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of capital that has gone into venture capital and growth equity over the last few years. We think that's fantastic. But now we're really in a scaling up phase here. So we're very much focused on you know, the technologies, the processes that a couple years ago were not quite ready for prime time. We've taken the next level. And now you really need the capital to grow these businesses, to scale these businesses, to really finance these businesses in a regular way. Is that the unlock then from here to scaling up is just a matter of finance? It's, it's the right important. finance yeah. in the right way. Right. And listen, not all these businesses are going to make it. And, yeah. and we understand that. Um, but when businesses have gotten to a level where they're ready for financing, where they, the technology risk has been proven, there is infrastructure capital, there is private equity capital, and there's ultimately, you know, for us, private credit that can really help get these companies to the next level. We see a tremendous opportunity there, uh, and we really think that is what will sort of solve this, if you will, missing middle of the climate finance equation. We're hearing a lot of companies that are committing to climate targets, but how do you turn that ambition into reality? Absolutely, we love it. So when we see our corporate partners, um, companies that we have strong relationships with at Apollo make commitments, we call them up. You know, we want to be their partner on so many of these deals. We did a really interesting deal a couple of weeks ago with Air France, where as part of an overall financing, we funded a 100 million euro tranche to solely purchase sustainable aviation fuel. We've had a long relationship with Air France. This was really a way in which we could very much help them meet their own goals. Where does regulation fit into all this? So, gosh, regulation is important, and we see things like uh, we see things like the Inflation Reduction Act mm -hmm. in, in in the U.S. And these are fantastic. The, the reality is, for these businesses to have a fighting chance, they need to stand on their own without regulatory incentives. So, for us, when we're looking at underwriting these businesses, we need to make sure that even without these incentives, that there's a good business model in here. That, that they can make money, that at the end of the incentive period that there is very good residual value and so that this business will, will keep on going even beyond the regulatory incentive period. All right. Olivia, thank you so much. Thank you.